Lynn Boyle in Dublin. A card, what we have seen emerge from the Public Accounts Committee over the last few months has come as no surprise to many. The dogs on the street could tell you that those who knew the right Gardaí could get their ticket fixed. And that Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael have looked after their cronies with cushy positions for decades. <laughs> what has grabbed the attention of the public, though, are two things. First, it's the level of contempt that some of those brought before the Public Accounts Committee have shown for the workings of it. The attitude of who do these elected representatives think they are questioning me on my force or my salary. And secondly, it's the sense of entitlement that some members of society seem to have. Because you see, comrades, in Ireland 2014, there are those of us who are equal, and then there are those who are a little bit more equal. So take, for example, Anne. Anne is a widowed pensioner in Dublin who was recently pursued for a couple of thousand euro because she failed to inform welfare that she gave her unemployed son a roof over his head after he was evicted from his flat. Now, on the other hand, then, we have another pensioner, Michael Fingleton. Do you remember him? Yeah. He presided over the reckless behaviour in Irish Nationwide and walked away with a Rolls-Royce pension, a €1 million Euro bonus and a Rolex. We have Dylan, the five-year-old with Down syndrome, who had his discretionary medical card taken from him, along with a thousand other children like him, because Dylan lives in straightened times and we all have to make sacrifices. Well, someone should have told Paul Kiley that when he was taking a severance payment. <laughs> a severance payment of 742,000 euro from funds raised in aid of children with disabilities. Now, I could go on and on with the examples of the lack of fairness in Irish society about how there are those within the golden circle and then there are the rest of us. I could talk at length about how having the Taoiseach from your county can get you 70% more lotto grants. Or how the Minister for Health can invent some algorithm that'll bump his healthcare centres up the waiting list. But as I said, it is not so much what was happening that has shocked the people sitting at home. It is that no one ever seems to be held to account. Where is the fairness in this country? How is it that we can lock a 79-year-old cancer patient, Margarita Darcy, in prison for protesting, but we can't lock up developers who built debt traps? of the Public Accounts Committee has given the ordinary people of Ireland a glimmer of hope as deputies like Mary Lou Macdonald demand the answers to the questions that the public are crying out to hear. And that committee has only begun to scratch the surface and look at how some in power have made attempts to stymie its work. They are nervous, nervous of what will be revealed next. Well, they should be nervous, because the time of the equal and the little bit more equal is over. Because what people want right now is transparency and accountability. There are 30% of voters in this country that are disillusioned. They've lost faith in their politicians and their political system. Who could blame them? But I'm appealing to those voters today, please don't stay home in May. There is an alternative. Sinn Féin is that alternative. We are putting Ireland first. We are challenging the cronyism that is endemic in the political institutions in this country. And we are snapping at the heels of those who feel they are somehow entitled to privileges. Join us in May. Vote Sinn Féin for representation that puts you your family and your community first. Gormila Magdalene.